I'm Mark and welcome to Learn How to Garden. In today's episode we're doing a book review and what we're reviewing today is Alice Fowler's The Edible Garden. This is a book I've had for a couple of years and it forms part of a series of book reviews I'm doing on which books I feel are really useful to have in your collection for gardening and which are more sort of coffee table books which are worth browsing. I quite like Alice's book. I like Alice as a gardener. Um, she's very into sustainability, uh, the way she grows in her garden. Some people call permaculture, some people call forest planting. Uh, I've already heard it referred to as chaos planting. And it's the technique of growing things all together, intermingling them in a small space. And Alice gardens in an average suburban urban garden, which is, um, I think, one of the strengths of the book is that she's dealing with a space most of us can comprehend and most of us are used to. The book itself is broken down into three distinct parts. The first part, which is um, how to do things, uh, is very comprehensive and she's sort of very good on explaining what compost is, how we get compost, uh, and when we talk about compost we, we're talking about the actual sort of material that we make from scrap sort of food or waste animal products or seaweed, things like that, as opposed to what you buy in a bag called compost. Um, and that's covered very, very thoroughly. So as well as compost, the other things that are brilliantly well covered are seed sowing, uh, when to sow seeds, the real basic stuff of getting your garden going, whether it's worth you know using seeds or buying seeds in. The next part of the book, which is um, a, a how to grow um, things, you know, what varieties you can buy, what varieties work well for Alice, and she's in the Midlands, so it's sort of quite a good sort of uh, average for England. I, I think that's very strong as well. Um, last of all, you've got what to do with your harvest. Um, and unlike sort of recipes, it's more about pickling, uh, and chutneys and how to preserve things and I do think that Alice has better books out there that cover that part of it. In fact there are much better books by other authors that cover that part of it. Overall I think it's a, a good book at um, somebody who's been gardening a couple of years um, and really just wants to sort of understand a different technique or a different way of gardening. I think if it was your first gardening book it could be slightly overwhelming if you do this. A lot of things have got to have to be done, they're hand weeded, you've got to get really sort of down and dirty with the garden uh, and it can be quite messy, quite sort of unstructured and I think for some people that's quite difficult when you first start. It's easier to weed an entire row of something than to sort of be picking around because half the time you'll pull the wrong plant out. I mean I have done that in the past. Um, so I think for a beginner it would be sort of difficult and you might lose heart uh, in the first year or so. So if you've been gardening a while, great to read, um, really interesting. If I was sort of scoring it out of five, uh, say for an Amazon review, I'd probably give it four, four and a half. Um, worth acquiring, certainly now it's out, been out a couple of years, you'll get one second hand. Worth a read, not the easiest thing to read through and certainly not something you can dip in and out of particularly easily. But a good book, nice book, well written by someone who really cares about the way they grow uh, and using their methods. The one thing Alice says in this book, which I would reiterate, is that the most important thing about anything to do with gardening is your knowledge of your garden. So, you know, remember that that's the most important thing and there are no right or wrongs really. If it works for you, it's brilliant. And if it doesn't work for you, then don't do it again. So that's Mark at Learn How to Garden saying, I hope you found that review useful. Any questions you've got to ask about any of the books I'm reviewing or anything else about Learn How to Garden, don't hesitate to email me and I'll try and answer you as soon as I can.